Hello everyone. Welcome to Partshala. Till now we have learned deep learning models works on internal representations. So can we interpret internal representations? Generally no, but if we are working with images and convolutional neural network, we can interpret what neural network has learned through internal representations. So in this video we are going to see what our neural network intermediate layers has learned through contour layer and max pooling 2d layer so we have created a model so we have created a model with series of con 2d layer max pool 2d layer after that we have used flatten layer to convert matrix into vector and finally we have attached that with dense layers at the last in output layer we have only one neuron responsible for identifying whether the given image is of cat or dog okay now we want to learn what our neural network has learned through those contour layer and max pooling layer so let's see first of all we have to get a list of layers from the model that can be easily done with the help of model dot layers into bracket indices of those models so we are interested in the layers from one to last and we have placed those outputs in an array but in order to visualize the intermediate internal representations we have to create a visualization model so that we have done with functional api so visualization model can be created with tensorflow.keras.models.model and inside that we are passing inputs and outputs inputs are the actual input that we have used in the base model that that is identified with the help of model.input and output is layers output that we have created in the previous set so thus we have defined our model with model.input as input and layers underscore outputs as a outputs now we are going to use this visualize model for the prediction of given image is of cat or dog now load that image for loading we have to pass the path for that image we are working with this image now we are going to use this image for predicting whether the given image is of cat or dog along with that we have to also pass the target size so our model has trained on 128 comma 128 image so for uh, the prediction also we have to pass same image size so again we have specified target size is equal to 128 comma 128 now we have image we have to convert that image into an array with the help of image to array function so we have received x array x dot shape provides the shape of that image so image is of size 128 comma 128 and uh, since it is colored image we are getting channels equal to 3 but for the prediction we have to also add how many images we want to predict so here in this case we are using only one image so we have to reshape that image so to reshape we can use x dot reshape into bracket the shape in which we want to convert the image that is 1 comma 128 comma 128 comma 3 if we are printing the image shape we are getting 1 comma 128 comma 128 comma 3 as per expectation now most important part we have to rescale the image because we have trained our model on the rescaled image so again for the prediction also we have to rescale the image that can be done easily by dividing 255 to the image vectorization concept is used over here which will divide each and every value from the image by 255 and thus we are going to get values between 0 to 1 now to predict whether the given image is of cat and dog we have to use predict method or with visualize model so code is visualize underscore model dot predict into bracket x and we are going to get feature maps as a output 
length of the feature maps is equal to 10. Now let's get the names of the layers by the same code that we have used previously. Model.layers. Now import the libraries required for plotting and performing NumPy operations. What is our aim? Our aim is to print the data available inside the feature maps. So we have layers name, we have feature maps identified from zip layer names and feature maps. Here we are going to print the shape for the feature maps. If the feature maps include shape length is equal to 4 then we are going to consider that layer for plotting the graph. We are not going to plot the graph for dense layer. So next thing is we want to identify how many channels are there inside this. So if we are showing the shape then we are getting something like this 1 comma 12 comma 12 comma 8 so 8 is nothing but uh, the channels associated with that image in that layer so this value is important in order to plot the image because 8 different filters are there 8 different channels are there then we have to create 8 different images for each channel so that is done over here after that now we want to identify the size of feature map so that can be easily done by identifying second indexed value from the feature map so thus we have created a display grid with numpy array 0 with size comma size into channels so we are going to create a display grid that is a strip in which we want to display all the channels we have received after performing contour d and max pooling operations in order to display those image properly we have applied some kind of processing over there and ultimately we are showing that image so as we can see the first feature map includes 1 comma 63 comma 63 comma 16 so 16 different channels are there with size 63 comma 63 as we move further we have reduced the number of channels and ultimately we are converting that channels to a vector which is again connected to the dense layer with 512 neurons and the last layer is output layer consisting of one neuron after executing this cell we are going to get something like this now let's try to interpret this result so first few layers rather first layer is trying to capture everything from the image none of the information will be skipped but as we move further the filters are going to concentrate on features some of the features for example for example this particular feature is trying to concentrate on dog's ear like this okay and in the next layer it is just concentrating on dog's ear plus eyes okay so we can conclude that if we are moving deeper and deeper inside the neural network we are learning more abstract features initially we are not skipping anything after that few layers are going to concentrate on few features of the image those features will be combined together in the next subsequent layers so we can also observe that in the initial layers we can interpret what filter are trying to identify from the image but as we are moving deeper and deeper inside the neural network things become quite complicated we cannot interpret what neural network is doing in the higher convolutional layers so these higher layers are trying to learn the complex features from the image which are required to classify whether the given image is of cat or dog in the last layer we have eight different filters this is first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh and eighth some of the filters you will find in violet color so these filters 
don't have any new data to learn the new things okay so this is all about interpretation of the intermediate layers with one image likewise you can change the image and you can check what intermediate contour layer and max pooling layers has learned from the input image thank you for watching the video